I S U P K. And today, what we're going to do, we're going to understand who is the devil on the earth, or who is Lucifer on the earth, right? Because many people believe that Satan was cast out of heaven, and is that this demon, or this, this spirit roaming the earth, tormenting people with horns on his head, a fork in his hand, or a long tail, right? And that is not so according to the Bible. So what we're going to do, we're going to go inside the scriptures to understand who is the devil on the earth, right? So, give me 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11. Can one can. 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the Most High. Say it again. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the Most High. So we're reading here in 1 Peter, right? If any man speak. Let, let him speak as the oracles of God, meaning let him go inside this Bible and say what is in this Bible. Let him speak from this Bible, not make up his own things or his own thoughts or what he believes or what he hears. Let him speak the things that is coming from this Bible. All right? So what we're going to show now, as we mentioned before, who is the devil on the earth? All right? So we're going to go to Genesis chapter 25. We're going to take it from the beginning and come right up to show who is this devil um, on the face of the earth, right? So we're going to Genesis chapter 25, verse 22. Come on, come on. Genesis chapter 25, verse 22. Mm -hmm. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Most High. Right, so this is Rebecca. Rebecca is having, is she, she conceived children because, um, let me read a little earlier up in the passage, she was barren, right? So she conceived children, she conceived and she now is going to inquire of the Lord, why is this happening in, in, in her womb? Why is this struggle? Why is this battle in her womb? Go ahead. Verse 23. Mm -hmm. And the Most High said unto her, Two nations are in Salakia. Mm -hmm. Two nations are in thy womb. Go ahead. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels so we, we understand here right that rebecca went to inquire of the lord the inquire of the lord is not going to um miracle ministries right the pastor coffee is not going to universal church of god it is not going with bible church to inquire of the lord is going to a priest or prophet that the most has sent and you can only find that in the isupk on the commanding general Yohanna, right so she went to inquire of the lord to find out what was happening read read again from the top Come on, come. Mm -hmm. Verse 23. Right. And the Most High said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Mm -hmm. Two nations in the womb. Go ahead. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Go ahead. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Right. So when she inquired, right, she understand that two people, two nations will be in a womb. You understand? And two manner of people will be separated from her bowels. Go ahead. And the elder shall serve the younger. And the eldest son 
is going to serve the younger one. The eldest child, the eldest nation is going to serve the younger nation. Go ahead. Verse 24. Mm -hmm. And when her days to be delivered were, were fulfilled. And when the time reached for she to deliver the children. Go ahead. Behold, there were twins in her womb. Mm -hmm. Verse 25. And the first came out red all over like an hairy garment. Mm -hmm. And they called his name Esau. So when the, when the twins were birthed, right, the first child came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau, which we know today as the so-called white man. Right? Just like when you go, I think it's in, um, in Texas, they call them rednecks. Come on, come on. You understand? It's, it's a quote-unquote white. You understand? Jump down to verse 27. Verse 27. Go ahead. And the boys grew. Mm -hmm. And Esau was a cunning hunter. Right? So the so-called white man was a cunning hunter. Go ahead. A man of the field. Mm -hmm. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. So just like it was seen in any passage that, that two man of people will be separated from thy bowels. This is how the two brothers was. Right? So let me go now to Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 9 verse 13. Go ahead. As it is written. As it is written. I'll drop that. Give me Malachi chapter 1 verse 3. Before we continue that. Come on, come on. Malachi chapter 1 and verse 3. Mm -hmm, go ahead. And I hated Esau. And I what? And I hated Esau. So the most I know here in Malachi that he hated Esau. Give me back, drop back to Romans chapter 9 verse 13 again. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. Go ahead. As it is written, mm -hmm. Jacob have I loved. Jacob, which is the father of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So the most I then know here that he loves the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Go ahead. But Esau. But who? But Esau. But Esau, who is the father of the Edomites. Go ahead. Have I hated. Have I hated. The so-called white man, the Lord hates the so-called white man. All right? Give me Luke chapter 10 verse 18. Even, come on, come on. even in the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 18, Christ spoke about this devil, this Satan, this, this devil on the earth. All right? And many people read the scripture and don't understand what it means. So give me Luke chapter 10 and verse 18. So what? Come on, come on, sir. Luke chapter 10, verse 18. Okay, go ahead. And he said unto them, mm -hmm. I beheld Satan. As lightning falling from heaven. So Christ, Yahweh Shine the Hebrew is saying that he saw Satan falling from heaven. That's lightning. Now many people say this was a war between God and the angels, and Satan was cast down, and they don't understand the scripture, right? So what Christ was so Satan Christ saw falling as lightning from heaven. We'll have to understand this with precept upon precept, line upon line, here, little, dear little. So we will go to Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 12. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 12. Go ahead. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? O who? O Lucifer. So this Lucifer in here in Isaiah is the same Satan that Christ was talking about in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 18. We saw fall from heaven. Right? Go ahead. Son of the morning, mm -hmm. how art thou cut down to the ground? Which did us weaken the nations. Right? Which did weaken the nations. Now when you go to history and you understand who weakened the nations. Among all the races on the face of the earth. Who weakened the nations. Right? When you look at the native Indians. Who stole the land from the native Indians. Who killed and slaughtered the native Indians. What about the Mexicans, the Guatemalans, the Panamanians. All these are, 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 are tribes of the nation of Israel. When you look at all the so-called Africans that was taken from Africa. And sold into slavery. Who did that? You right? I still turn around deceiving to believing that it's Africans till this day. You understand? When they, when they, when they watch who dropped the bombs on, on, on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, who did that? The so-called white man. Go ahead. Verse 13. Mm -hmm. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will what? I will ascend into heaven. Who launched the, 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 the space shuttle? To head to the moon. Go ahead. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. Mm -hmm. 
I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will exalt my throne above the stars. The eagle has landed. Who looking to make the, the, the throne among the stars? The so-called white man. Go ahead. Verse 14. Mm -hmm. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Go ahead. I will be like the most high. The so-called white man wants to be like the most high. Everything he's trying to do is like the most high. He wants to be that superpower on the earth. Down, down. He wants to be that God on the earth. You understand? Go ahead. Verse 15. Mm -hmm. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. Go ahead. They that see thee, they that what? They that see thee, mm -hmm. shall narrowly look upon thee. So you know, you understand that. It's saying in verse 15, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell. So called white man is being, going to be brought down to hell. I mean, talking about a hell with a pit, with fire, with Satan inside with a pitchfork. We're talking about that. You understand? Verse 16 saying, they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee. You understand? People who see the white man is going to do what? When they start to understand these things and they see the white man, they're going to look at him as suspect. They're going to want to know where it's going. Okay. And consider thee. Mm -hmm. Say, is this the man? Is what? Is this the man? Is what? Is this the man? No, is this the demon? Is this the man? No, is, the, is this the spirit? Is this the man? So they that see the people that see the so-called white man after understanding and learning the things that he's doing, learning what he's trying to become is going to watch him as suspect and say wait is this the man go ahead that made the earth to tremble that did shake the kingdoms is this the man that made the earth to tremble with the things that he's doing dropping bombs here nuclear attack there destabilizing nations what's happening with venezuela right now you understand but these are the things that they would not learn in the Christian church. The so-called white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. Can one can. So from there, give me Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 10. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 10. Go ahead. For thy violence against thy brother For Jacob. What? For what? For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Mm -hmm. Shame shall cover thee. Mm-hmm. And thou shalt be cut off forever. And what? And thou shalt be cut off forever. So the things that the so-called white man Esau did to, to Jacob, his brother, to the nation of Israel, to the twelve tribes, he's going to be cut off forever. You understand? The things that he's done, it's not because he's a white man that we just call any devil the Bible speaks of. Okay. It's not because he's white, but it's violence. That he has done to his brother. This is why he's going to be. These are the things they wouldn't learn in the Christian church. You understand? The only space you can learn this and more is in the ICPK on that commanding general. Okay. With that, I say, Shalom. Shalom. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? With them the breath of life, I'm believing fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord?